I promised you that I will tell you about my photo frame secret uh, today. So let me define the problem very quickly. I wanted to have a photo frame that could display the pictures but also change them at regular intervals or on demand. But also I could change the pictures that it will pick from uh, either from the device itself or remotely. That's the problem. Uh, and now let me tell you how I solved it. Okay, so let me give you a very quick background of how I arrived at this problem and which will give you an idea of whether you should be watching this video or whether it's not relevant to you. So uh, a few years ago when uh, during Christmas time, I bought a couple of small picture frames from a discount store and surprising to me, I did actually manage to uh, do the hard work of finding a picture and printing it in just the right size, cutting it precisely and then putting it in the frames. But then once I put them in there, there were two frames, two pictures, and that's it. I could not manage to change them for months. Even I got bored with them, but I could not bring myself to do all the hard work of printing, precise cutting, and then putting them back in the frame. So uh, I thought that I need something that can change the pictures easily. And that brings us to a digital photo frame because digital, I only have pictures which are like digital. So it made sense to have digital photo frame and easily changeable as well. A few years even before that, I had bought on my dad's 80th birthday, I bought him a photo frame, uh, which was digital. And it had the facility to not just to change the pictures, but you could also email pictures to it. So uh, it was a lot of faff to actually set it up. You had to create an email address for the frame, then uh, create some security profiles to uh, allow it to receive emails from certain email addresses. And then it could go and check on a periodic basis and then um, change the pictures display the pictures that were uh, newly arrived via email and it worked okay um, but all of these things they own they use their own operating system they use their own ui and they have their apps so they are limited options and everything so but still i started looking at some picture frames to see if i could buy something that would uh, solve my problem of um, this auto change and the remote control and it turned out that as you go more into features the picture frames become more and more expensive. So uh, by the time I got to the feature where these uh, were like seven or eight inch screen uh, digital photo frames and they had the facility to connect to the internet, it was something like 150 pounds and around that range that they were costing. And I thought like that's too much. And even then uh, there's no particular brand, there is no particular guarantee uh, that it would keep working. There were lots of reviews were also not very good. So uh, then I thought of my ultimate solution for pretty much everything is like, why don't we go to Android, like get a tablet, get a cheap tablet second hand, and then use that as a photo frame, which you can do. But there are a few steps involved. It's not hard, just a few steps involved. So let's solve them one by one and I'll tell you each step and each application of so what you need. So basic, this, this is the one I was using, uh, one of the two tablets that I was using and this has like completely split now and I suspect that the battery has swollen, which is why I bought this one. Okay. So that one I got for 80 pounds. This one was 71. This was a new one, but it's, this is not branded. That one is Alcatel. Okay, so. First thing is, this is an Android tablet. So you can simply uh, put a picture as a wallpaper and then you remove everything else from there. All the applications, the status bar, turn off the notifications, everything. And for that purpose, I use something called Total Launcher. This is the Total Launcher. So if you see this, I've got two screens. This one is my wallpaper screen and this one is my management screen whenever I do need to do anything on the device to change the wallpaper or check that things are working properly or not. So this Total Launcher is really great because it gives you all the options. It lets you customize it to the death. So you can remove every single thing, including there used to be a couple of uh, icons here at the top, uh, which showed you which screen you were on. I even deleted those. So you can have a perfectly blank uh, page, perfectly blank screen where there's just the wallpaper and nothing else. So if you put it in there in a the tablet holder, that's your picture frame. So let's create a folder here. Uh, I am going to call it, what should I call it? Pick one. 
because there's already a pictures folder there so I'm just gonna call it differently so pick one becomes your folder now whatever pictures you put in this they can be displayed on the screen as wallpaper by using something called this is called multi picture live wallpaper this is also a free just like total launcher this is also a free application uh, and all you need to do is you go into this go into picture source uh, go into picture folder folder path and go up so pick one this is my folder pick one i go into that and uh, i can just say set this one up this has nothing in there so it won't show anything i'm going to go into my dropbox and just copy a picture uh, into that folder so that we can have a couple of pictures to play with okay so I'm going to export this picture into the local folder, export. And where will I save it? I'm sure you can guess. So let's find that, no, there's that one, pick one. So we save it here. And let's take one more picture that looks different. So, save to device. And saved okay so now okay so once both those pictures get saved they will be in our folder which was pick one you can see them and the multi pick wallpaper can pick them up okay so if you have more pictures there it will pick them pick them up and change them on a fixed schedule all right it's changing there there you go yeah, so it changes based on if you can double tap it or it will change every hour. Okay, now how do you want to, how can you remote control this? That remote control part comes from Dropbox. Dropbox is a way to store pictures or store any files in the, in the cloud. So you can do this with Dropbox, you can do this with Google Drive because they both have similar applications available. So Dropbox has pictures, so let's say my Dropbox has a folder which I just showed you the Conisbra one. So I have another folder called Paris IG, which is for Paris Instagram. Uh, so I want to have all these pictures on my tablet, on this tablet so that they can be used as wallpapers. So how do I do this? I go into this application called DropSync. This is a free version, or this is the pro version, but uh, there's a free version available and the free version is enough for this purpose, for synchronizing one folder. So here I'm going to create press this plus button. I'm going to create a synchronizing folder pair between the Paris IG folder and my pick one folder on the device. So remote folder is, go to photographer, go to nature, to photographer nature Paris IG. And here we can select this, then local folder in device, we will say pick one and select and we'll do this two ways so that if you delete the pictures or change the pictures in any way or add more pictures in either place either the device or the dropbox folder they will get into the other place as well the changes will be reflected in the other place as well so two ways saying save it and we can set it so that it runs automatically there are settings and you can do like an auto sync and i have done that auto sync for five minutes every five minutes we'll check whether there's any new pictures or any changes in the files there and will resynchronize. So you can do this by pressing manual sync as well here. Excuse me. Check the status. So now it's downloading all those files. You can see this and change, downloaded two files, three files. So it's just downloading all those pictures which were in the Paris IG folder down to the device. Okay, that is all done 17 files downloaded now we go back out and there you go your pictures are being picked automatically by the multi pick wallpaper that's a live wallpaper so in android new versions you can always have live wallpapers and that's how it does that so this page is not going to be used very much because you can just put the tablet like this on a tablet holder and there you go that's your picture frame 
and if you want to double click so now if you change the pictures anywhere you can change it from the dropbox you can change it uh, from the dropbox pc application from the computer or you can change it from your mobile phone uh, any pictures new pictures you want to add like let's suppose you took a new photo you can uh, put that right away in your dropbox and then by the time you come home it will already be on your picture frame cool isn't it so that's my solution for a picture frame that auto rotates the pictures, changes the pictures and also gives you remote control to change the photos on there whenever you want. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you like and uh, I will see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.